All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft Resource Packs for Minecraft Java Edition. This will specifically be for version 1.21 or newer, but this will work for basically any version of Minecraft, even older ones, because texture packs just became resource packs, meaning they cover... Textures, sounds, particles, all sorts of stuff. So the first thing that you need to do is grab yourself a resource pack. And you can find these by just going around and Googling it. And you'll find that there's a bunch of different sources for it. There's resourcepack.net, CurseForge, ModRinth, Planet Minecraft. All of these are good places to grab different resource packs that you might want to use. And you just got to scroll through here and say like, oh, that one looks good or that one looks good. Um, I actually went to resourcepack.net and I grabbed dynamic surroundings, which is a whole immersive set of sounds and new textures and everything that you can see here. And that's going to make it a lot more immersive. There's even weather. So I just went down to the bottom here. You can install this for Bedrock or Java. I'm grabbing the edition for Java, the newest edition, which is for 1.21.x or 119.x. And we'll just grab that. And I just went ahead and put it into a Java folder here, Dynamic Surroundings R2. And then I can just go ahead and grab that over here. And inside of here is the Dynamic Surroundings r2 in a zip folder and we don't want to unzip this we want to leave this as a zip folder so once you've got the pack that you want i'm going to go ahead and open up minecraft i've got the launcher here and i want the latest release and i'm going to hit play now from here we're going to actually let Minecraft open the folder that we need to stick this zip folder into. So to find that, we're going to go to options and then we're going to go to resource packs. This is the default one that we have available. There's also a couple that come with Minecraft programmer art, which is the classic look of Minecraft and also the high contrast version that is also built in. But we're going to go to the bottom here and click open pack folder. And this is going to open up the app data folder with the Minecraft folder straight to the resource packs. And we're going to take this one that I just downloaded and we're going to copy it and put it inside of here. And you can have different resource packs inside of this folder if you want to. Like, for example, I can go back to resource packs and I can say, uh, I like easy blocks and I can go all the way down here and download a copy of easy blocks for Java edition. Just grab that. And now I can just take this and I can also put a copy of easy blocks in here as well. Now, when I look over at the Minecraft window, it'll already populate my new additions to the list of available mod packs or well, not mod packs, but resource packs. And here's what I can do. I can add these. To my list of currently selected textures and what this is going to do especially if i reorder them using these arrows the one at the top is going to be the texture pack that appears first so it's going to prioritize that one but if for whatever reason it's not a complete pack it's missing textures or it's missing pieces then those pieces will be filled in by easy blocks and if easy blocks doesn't have it then what's left will be filled in by default Minecraft. And this is how you make sure that even if you have like a slightly outdated pack for a resource pack, although it's your favorite, you can make sure that there's always something displayed when you're playing the game. So I'm going to go ahead and click done and it's going to quickly reload my game. And you can already see that a lot of the textures inside of the game have changed. It looks like the dynamic resource pack for dynamic surroundings is mostly just sounds. So it's pulling the textures from easy block. So it's a good idea that I went ahead and grabbed that. 
So I'm going to go into my single player world and I'm going to play around a bit so we can see how well it loaded. And there you can see, literally can see, that all of the easy blocks textures have loaded in. And I can go around playing with them. Now, in the event that this isn't what you really want, because you decide after the fact, like, well, man, Larry, I just don't like this. Do I have to load all the way out, change the texture pack, and load all the way back in? And the answer is no. All you have to do is go to options, go to resource packs, and you can say, like, I don't like easy blocks, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and instead, I'm going to use high contrast, and I'm going to click done. And so now, instead of easy block, I just have like the high contrast version of the default texture pack so that things are a little bit easier to see if I need high contrast for whatever reason. So you can dynamically swap these in and out, although if you actually full on install new ones, you might have to load all the way out of your world and then back in. But resource packs are a lot less intensive to install than they used to be. So that's a quick little look at how to install resource packs. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.